Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan with Research World Technical Support, and this is a video on how to add items to Shopify through the Liberty Item Entry app. So I right now have my iPad Air, and this can be done on an iPhone as well. As a matter of fact, it's usually recommended to do it on an iPhone as the camera is a bit stronger on those units. So the first thing we're going to do is we are actually going to tap on the Item Entry app, and this is the top left one here. This is assuming that you've already set up the app. I do have another video on that process. Uh, you definitely can check that out if you have never set this up on an iPhone or iPad, uh, also any iDevice. I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. We'll go to our RWD account. I'm going to go ahead and type in one for John Doe, and that's their account number. You can also use the uh, the first name or the last name or phone number, anything that really uh, really would qualify you to search for this account. So I'm going to tap on John Doe. And then I'm going to go ahead and tap Add Items right in the middle of the screen. So from here, we always start out at the Attribute screen. Um, it automatically shows you the top 20 used categories. Um, typically, what I see is most people will use the Tree View. It kind of gives you access to all your categories. So from here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a jeans item. We'll do a women's apparel item here. And then we'll go to women's pants and shorts, and then jeans. So now we'll go to the next step. My favorite brand is Lucky, so I'm gonna select Lucky for my brand. I'll go ahead and say that these are green, and these are a large size pair of jeans. So you'll be taken to the actual all section here in case you wanna add more attributes. You can also select anything from brand to size to color. Anything you select here, you'll be able to search uh, specific values. So I'm going to go back and just select my uh, Lucky brand again. And then I'm going to tap the Next Step button. From here, we can specify what our price is. So I'm going to tap into the price field here. And I'll say that these jeans are $35. Um, if you have more than one item that is sold, it'll try to tell you what the low average and high prices were and you can select any of these buttons here to, to automatically fill in the price you'll also see a graph at the bottom um, but uh, i have no data on jeans here um, as this is a test store so i'm going to go ahead and tap the next step here now we can put in a, a much more accurate description over these lucky large jeans um, so i can just say that these have a dragon design and they come with a belt. Now I can take a picture of my item. So you can either do that by tapping the library button or you can tap the camera button. Uh, so these are over to the right here. So you got your camera button and your library button. So I'm gonna take a fresh new picture. I'll just tap the camera button here. It's going to ask for access. We want to click OK on that. And then I'm just going to take a picture of my laptop here. Over to the bottom right, uh, we're going to tap Use Photo. And then we can take another picture if we want. So I'll go ahead and uh, tap the, the uh, camera here. And I realize these aren't jeans, but I'll just take another picture of our screen here. And then finally, our, our last step is to go to the Extended tab. Now this is where we actually tell Liberty Mobile that this item is gonna to go to the web. It also gives us additional options that we can edit before it goes to the web. You can specify the location of the item, the weight of the item. Um, there's also the dimensions options if you wanna go ahead and put that in. Um, but the most important one is definitely going to be whether this is a web item. So depending on how you have your listing manager set, um, if you have your listing manager set to automatically push items up when the web item checkmark box is checked, um, then it will just send it straight to Shopify. Otherwise, 
there's still some additional stuff that needs to be done on the listing manager from a web item entry person's perspective. So depending on what your options are, that's that's how that's going to get handled. So as far as the iPad's concerned, we're going to go ahead and tap into the web item option here. And we are going to flip this to on. So I'll go back. And then we're going to click the save button. So it's going to ask you if you'd like to add another item. I'm just going to tap done. And then of course it's going to ask if I would like to print the items that I just added. I'm going to select no. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pull up this laptop that I have Liberty installed on and this iPad connected to, and then we're going to see what that item looks like in Liberty. All right, now that I'm on my laptop, I'm going to open up Liberty 5. I'll sign in. Then we're going to open up the listing manager at the top right. Now we're going to open up the listings tab. And then we're going to look at our active tab. And as we can see, there's our item. Because it's on the active tab, we know that it went straight from the iPad to Shopify. And we can right click on this item and view the listing to see how it looks on Shopify. And here's the item. This was a video on how to add an item to Shopify through the Liberty Item Entry app.